here you have combination of your hands and feet and uh, it's already very well planned for, for application in your self-defense. So let's say I'm uh, reaching for Leo, so, so, so he's standing like that, I'm reaching for Leo to grab him or something. So you see, first thing he did, he was shifting weight to get out of line. His arm already circled, already circled and blocked me, making sure I lose balance. Second thing, you're gonna step in, see, behind my leg, and in the form it's low, I'm gonna talk about this now, but in application we're gonna go high to the neck. So you see, this can be a strike or a takedown. If you bend my knee a bit and does this, I'm gonna lose balance, maybe fall, and he opens me up for the counter attack. So now uh, I'll do it slowly. So you see, if person is uh, punching me and or grabbing me, I'm shifting my weight and I have to make sure to, to hit him hard on the high line so he loses balance. Now, you stepping behind him and then depending if I'm too close, you're going to hit with an elbow, your arm's going to open up and this alone could make a person fall. And then you can punch them. In the second variation, when he punched, I did a circular move, more absorbing a person, and then strike. And also, when you block person, you can hammer with the with the whip. That's one application, or go in deep and uh, throw a person down and hurt him. So now, depending on the height of the person, if I'm tall, I might hit him with an elbow, or if or forearm or a hammer. Now it's clear, if I go to punch him and he blocks in and I'm blocking harder. Okay. Yes, and now he goes in, you see, he might hit with forearm and uh, that's how it's gonna look in this in this relationship. And I'm open for his strike. Now for your understanding, when I started the move and we do a punch low, because we go for your low, we punch low. So you, in a form you're going to have a low punch, middle punch and a high punch. So you're learning how to punch low in the beginning. And even this first move we do low and many times we apply it high. But the reason is when a person punches, if I block him, if I can go low with my hand, it teaches me how to go above that arm. Because for me to hit him here, I have to be on top of his arm. So this is teaching me to, to enter on a person. So, let's say you don't, you don't want to injure him that much. You might hit uh, lower on his body or you can even go for the groin. Uh, as a, instead of striking to the neck or face when you enter into a opponent. And if you see, in the beginning of the first form, you already have one very important principle. Because when a person punched me, I could have just punch me back, but this form is teaching me how to bridge a gap and take a person down and finish a fight. So you see, we go closer to opponent and we, we have to know what to do when you go into your opponent. Okay, that's a uh, application.